Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to learn how you can freeze and unfreeze panes in Excel. So before we understand how to do it, let's first understand how it is useful. And it is very important and useful feature in Excel, which you will be using very frequently. It doesn't matter which job role and profile you are working. This will be really handy and helpful. So freezing pane, why do we need it? So say for example, you are, this is our header row, right? Now, when we scroll down, you will see that header section, all of this has disappeared, right? As we scroll down in the bottom, that header section appears. Similarly, if we scroll in the right, say for example, this is another column and we want to have this column always there when we scroll to the right then how we can make sure that this stays there and sticks to the view and doesn't disappear as we scroll down right so how we can scroll or how we can stick the row the top row and the multiple rows or the columns so this is the whole point of freezing and unfreezing the panes and what exactly it means now to freeze the panes or the row it's very simple go to the view section here right and here you will see this freeze pane icon here okay if you click on here you will see that it keeps the rows what what exactly it does is it keeps the rows and columns visible while the rest of the worksheet stro scrolls okay so basically if i freeze it and scroll it then the row will still appear okay so how we can freeze the first row so if you click on this icon, you can see the freeze top row, right? So very handy, click on freeze top row and you will see this little line, the black line appeared and that means this top row is now frozen, okay? So if I'll scroll now at the bottom, you'll see that this row is still in the view, okay? So this whole row won't disappear if I scroll. If I want to unfreeze it, I'll simply select that freeze panes and click on unfreeze pane. Okay. And now if I'll scroll, you'll see the top row disappeared again. Okay. Because it's not frozen anymore. Similarly, if I want to freeze this column, right? So at the moment, it is not frozen because if you'll see a column A disappears as I scroll. Now, if I have to freeze the column, simply select that and click on freeze first column. Very handy. So now if I'll scroll, you will see that column, first column is still in the view right so you'll see it is still in the view even though i'm scrolling if i want to unfreeze i'll simply unfreeze pane and now this time you'll see that the column a moves as i scroll in the right hand side okay so this is how you will freeze the top row and column this is very helpful now if i want to freeze more than one rows what i can do is i simply say for example i want to freeze top five rows so click on the sixth row if you want to freeze top five row click on the sixth row and then click on freeze pane and click on freeze paints okay so now all the top top five row if you see this black thin line appears that means all the top five row are now frozen so if i'll scroll you will see that all top five row still appear and rest all moves as we scroll okay to unfreeze i'll simply click on unfreeze and you'll see that thin line dark thin line disappear okay similarly to freeze multiple columns what we'll do is same thing if i want to freeze column a and b i will come to column c because i want to freeze all the columns before this particular column and then click on freeze panes right and if i'll move in the right now you will see that a and b stays there okay and let me zoom in so that there is more space for scrolling okay so now you'll see that if i move this a and b still remain there okay to unfreeze i'll simply unfreeze the panes and if say for example i want to freeze up to column c then select d and click on freeze panes and now a b c will be frozen okay now let me zoom to 100 percent okay now if i want to let me unfreeze as well uh, if i want to freeze row and column at the same time how we can do it so you have to first see where the intersection of the row and column is so say for example this is the row right and this is the column so where exactly so this row is here and the column is here so where is it inter intersecting it is basically somewhere at this column right so this is the this is the intersection of the row and column this corner okay so select the cell that is just next to that okay and then click on freeze panes okay so now you will see if i scroll down you will see the row has been frozen okay and if i scroll to the right 
the column a has been frozen as well okay so this is how you are going to freeze the row and column at the same time okay so one more time say for example this is your header and this is the the column header right so you have to see where the intersection of the header and column is which is basically this point here right so this is the column here so this corner is the intersection so select the cell that is just at the intersection okay if there are two rows say for example in the header okay and then there are two rows in the column right so something so something like this and the two top rows so what is the intersection the intersection is basically this particular cell right because this these two columns come here and then top two rows they start from here right so this is the cell that you have to select if you have to freeze two top rows and then two columns right so let me unfreeze that and show you so this is the intersection and i will simply say freeze pane and now these top two rows are frozen and the top two column uh, this these two columns are frozen okay if you scroll you will see that these top two rows are frozen and then similarly the a and b are frozen so you have to make sure just ensure wherever the intersection is select the cell that is at the intersection of the rows and column it doesn't matter how many rows and columns you want to freeze at once you just have to find the intersection and then sell select that cell and click on freeze pane and then basically i'll unfreeze first and then click on freeze pane so at this with this option you will see that a b c columns are being frozen and top four rows are being frozen right you can see that because this cell is at the intersection of the four rows and three columns so that's why that's how it is okay so i hope this is uh, this this can be easily understood and you will be able to figure out how to freeze and unfreeze multiple rows and columns and freeze multiple um, rows and columns together okay so that it's helpful for you to have the rows and columns or the headers in view and are helpful for you to view the data properly within the excel sheet so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful Thank you very much for watching.